What is happening, guys? We are back with another episode of Elden Ring. So we're just picking up where we left off, actually, in the game. So the last video, I was fighting that one soldier, that Scarlet Rot soldier. And, um, I was being really chicken shit about it, so. <clears throat> Let's, um, okay, there's not much in here. Oh, there's that ladder. Okay, so this is a shortcut to a boss for sure, because the grace wasn't too far from here. And now we've got a shortcut directly to this area. And I think we're going to take this up. Yep. Yep. And we're going to be fighting some dude up here. I guarantee it we're going to be uh, going to the boss right now. So I have my Mimic out. Um, I've got my basic item necessity fulfilled uh yeah there's the boss gate right there it's a good thing i pretty have pretty much have all of my um heals and all of my magic revives or refills i do need to go in there guns blazing because i have no idea what is waiting for me or you know what you know what first because we dealt with scarlet rot and it seems like millennia's uh or Mikola's millennia and Mikola's they're twins they're both swords when swordsmen and swordswoman so real quick let's um go back to where i was talking about right here behind uh the carrier manor the carrion manor whatever and uh let's see if we can go to this area over here and find a bunch of root resins because we do need to make uh fire greases and other types of greases and i'm almost positive this was the area that had a bunch of root resin here we go. Yep. There's root resin around here, a bunch of it. We just gotta make a few, um, you know, passes through this area so that we can stock up. Yeah, there's probably a bunch of root resin in here, for sure. Because I remember coming through here the first time. And there's another place near the Altus Plateau. Like, like right when you enter the Altus Plateau, like from the other areas of the game. There was another area that was kind of like this. And it had a bunch of freaking root resin. And it usually says it grows underground or near the Erd Tree roots. Is what I think I remember from the item description. Okay, I think I got all the ones that are over here. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, that's Roa, never mind. Or no, it is root resin, sorry. <laughs> I'm completely blind. Oh crap. Oh, there's some right there. Yeah, we've actually gotten a lot of them. I like that. Oh, I didn't hit him. So We'll have to ride back to the Grace after we collect all the root resin around here and then go right back and do it again. Because I think it's one root resin per, um, uh, per armament grease. So, oh, there's one. Wait, what? Oh, it was a freaking herb leaf. I thought I saw it.
Any more around here? Where's that Evergale? I don't think we beat that Evergale either. Okay, perfect. We, I think we got them all. Am I tripping? Where the heck is the the side of Grace? Did I pass it? Oh, there it is. Rest real quick. Okay. Come on, Torrent. Let's go, buddy. Look like some more of this root resin. Bam. You guys aren't even that tough. All I really got to do is just run around here and press um, triangle to pick things up and. I'm just running on tops of these things. <laughs> Hard to pick items up when you keep jumping on accident or riding on these things. Okay, there's one right there. One right there. Oh, an arterial leaf. Blood? Where's that blood there from? There we go. over here. Nope, nothing. Should be one like right around here, I thought. Plus I already picked it up. Which there's a very good chance of. Oh, there it is. Making sure we picked everything up. You know, I should probably count how many I pick up. Just to see how many there are in this area. So that I know for future um, instances where I want to farm again. That I know how many are over here. Because I might find another spot later on. Or go to a different one to see if there's more. And there is more. Okay. So we're going to go through and count them this time and see what we got. And then I'll definitely go and explore a different area later. So one.
to I usually pick up a lot more by now. Three. Excuse me. Pick up. Okay, so three so far. Seven. I think that might have been everything. Oh, eight. Nine. Okay, so there's nine. I think that was it. It feels like the number that I've been picking up is about nine. Oh, there's ten. Never mind, I was wrong. There is ten. Oh, that's eleven actually. But ten spots. So there's ten spots in here that you can pick the item up. But I did not count and see how many it actually gave me each time. I mean, this is my third attempt, I think, right there, right? So let's, uh, real quickly, we'll look at the root resin and see how many we had. Because we had none. Forty-six? Okay, so I made three or four, I think I made three passes. So forty-six divided by three... Okay, let's see. So 3 times 5 is 15. So 45 divided by 15 is 3. So yeah, okay. So maybe I missed one on one of the other routes. Or maybe I actually went 4 times. I don't remember how many times I, I did it. I didn't even keep count. So <clears throat> there's a good chance you get about 15 to 16 uh, per run. So that's pretty good. Let's do this actually. Yeah, let's do it one more time. And we'll count the number of uh, root resins it gives me. The number might be different each time. I'm not sure. We'll have to do another run after this just to see what that does. Or see what the outcome of that is. So uh, we've got 10 spots to hit. Here's one. That gives you one. Oh, so I was at 46. We'll just count at the end of it. So. Remember the number 46. I know my ADD is, is strong, but like. Let's see if this Jedi can simply remember that number. Two. Okay, so two so far. Three. I think I forgot that one. Four. Okay, so four so far.
five, six, oop, seven, I swear there was another one like right right here. Like right over here. There's eight. There's 10. Okay, so there is, I think, another one. I'm pretty sure there was another one, like, right around here. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, crap. Okay, so that was 10 that I found. But I want to say that, that I missed one. Now that the sun's beating down funny on the landscape, it's getting harder to see with the sunlight like that. Oh, there's 11 right there. Okay, so I missed a spot. Oh, there's 12? What? Okay, so there's 12. I did miss um, on one of the runs. Okay, so... Now that I think I've gotten all of them and double-checked the area... I really wish... Oh, you know what I can do? To help myself, we can uh, rest at a site of grace and change the time that it is of the day. So we can fast forward it. So we'll fast forward it tonight. Oh, there's 13. Yeah, there's definitely 13. Is there any more around? Okay, so we found 13 of them. I'm pretty sure that's the magic number. I mean, shit, I could be wrong. I, I guess I've been wrong, like, on a couple runs. Oh, there's 14. Is that a crystal bud? Yep. Okay, so that was 14. Unless somehow they're magically restoring themselves, but I don't think that's happening. All right, never mind. Now the sun that has set it is a little bit darker, so I can see the ground better now. Okay, so we're at 14, guys. I thought there was uh, 10, maybe 11, so there we missed like three on the last run. So now that we know that there's 14 of them, I'm not seeing any more. I mean, I did go from the bottom to the top. Or top to the bottom, bottom to top. And back again, I guess. I mean, just got to be on the lookout, I guess. I mean, it could be near other trees, too. I'm just checking over by the graveyard. Please. Tarnished golden sunflowers. Okay, so no more root resins over here. So yeah, 14 of them. That's the number. And I was at 46 before I made this last run. Let's see now. Rest. Okay, inventory. 66. Okay, so we got 10. Or, sorry, no, uh, 20. 
It went from 46 to 66. So we got 20 root resins on one run. So now, let's ride again and do it one more time. Now, we know that there's 14 of them. So we can get an accurate reading. Because that last run gave us 20. Let's see if it gives us 20 again. I thought there was one like right here, wasn't there? Last time? Oh, there we are. There's two. Yeah, I thought there was one right here. That's weird. So that's... Sorry, that's two. There is another one like right over here. There it is. Three. Four. So we're at four, right? Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. That's 12. <coughs> okay, that's not right. Unless they don't spawn. They have to spawn in the same time. That doesn't make sense. Okay, there it is. Thirteen. Oh, fourteen. Okay, so that was fourteen. I'm pretty sure I counted right. I didn't skip a number. I thought I did for a second, but... That means there would have to be fifteen if I found another one. If I find another one, that means I counted wrong. But I think I'm okay, actually. Okay, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure I got them all. Oh, nope, I miscounted. 
Unless... You know what? We're going to have to do it again. But I'm pretty sure there was only 14. I don't think I missed any. Let's try this one last time. I promise, guys. This is it. So the last count was 20. Okay, so 85. We not get doubled that time because I think we either missed one or we miscounted the last time. Miscounted the last time or we got just one less because of the, the draw. Maybe you don't get the same number every time. I mean, it was pretty damn close to the same number as last time. So I'm going to assume that we missed one, I think. Or, um, yeah, we had to have missed one or got an extra one somehow. I don't know. But we picked up one so far. You know what? We're going to do something different. So there was one. So there's two. There's three. Six. Seven. Eight. Here we got eight so far. There's nine right there. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Ooh. Twelve. Thirteen. There's fourteen. Okay, so fourteen so far. I think that's it.
Yep, that was it. There is only 14. So I miscounted the last time, I think. And I guess it varies each time on how many you pick up. Um, when you pick up the root resin, it varies on how many it gives you. So it's either one or two. I mean, it could possibly have been three. But it probably is giving me about two per... Uh, well, just under two per. So, like, every other one is going to be two, I think. So for me to get uh, 20 or around 20. Because the last time we only got 19 out of it. And I picked up 14 of them this time, the same time as the time before the last, and the last one I'm pretty sure I just miscounted. If I'm being completely honest, I think I skipped uh, a number. I think it was like nine, and I went straight to 10. Or maybe it was from uh, 10 to 11, but I, yeah, I'm pretty sure we only get 14 per round. Oh, nope, I was wrong. There is 15. So I missed one the last time. Not, oh, wait. Yeah, I think I missed one the last time. That's it. That explains why I only got 19 and not 20. So yeah, dude, we should have like 100 now. Well, just under 100, I think. Oh no, we got 104. It gave us more than 20 that time. Okay, so I guess each one varies however many times you pick it up. Yeah, because I would have, like, because the last time I picked up 19, and this time it went uh, over 20, I think. Or did it? So 20 plus 85. And I was at 104, so... Yeah, that's... No, yeah, it gave me 19 again. Right? Or am I tripping? I think I... No, yeah, it, it did give me 19 last time. Okay, so... Yeah, I think it just varies. On however many, you know, it decides to give you when you pick it up. Okay, so now we've got a bunch of root resin. We do need to get a bunch of string, which means we would have to go back to Limgrave and hunt the, uh, the, um, I can't remember what they're called. Those are like the monkey people. And that would have to be way down here. Uh, I do want to start going to every Erd tree and see if I fought the guardian there and get the cracked crystal. You know what, speaking of which, I picked up some new ones, and I didn't even look at what they did. Let's, oh, hold on, uh, wondrous physic. There we go, okay. So let's see, I got this one. This steadily restores HP for a time. I remember when I got that one. Um, let's see, <clears throat> it restores half of total FP. Oh, I've got two of them? Why do I have two of them? And they both look different. Huh, that's weird. So I remember these ones. I think this is the one I picked up. Makes consecutive attacks grow stronger in... Oh, okay. I like this. So every time I get a hit in on an enemy, my attack power grows. Temporary reduced equip load. Uh... Restores FP when near death. Restores HP. HP when near death. Okay, so that means if I'm about to die, it'll just start healing me. Significantly negates damage. Okay, so this one and this one would be two good ones. Because if I was near death and I drank this, this would decrease the damage I take. And this one would increase my health. That's pretty good. Makes attacks grow stronger. Enhances charged attacks for a time. These two would be good, good to put together. Let's see. Significantly negates damage. Did I already? Yeah, I already looked at that one. Wait, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, rupture to crystal tier. Causes concoction to explode. 
causes concoction to explode. Why are they the same, but they're di they look different again? I don't get what that means. Have to. I want to see what that means. When the concoction concoction explodes, let me see. Oh, Shiza. It's like a suicide attempt. I wonder how much damage it does. I'd probably die from trying it, but... Let's see. It significantly negates damage. Restores HP when near death. It makes consecutive attacks grow stronger. Okay, so... This one... And this one makes consecutive attacks grow stronger. That's fine. I really don't care about the temporarily boost stamina. Like, doesn't boost it by that much. But it's it's a, it's a nice little boost, though. Not gonna lie. I should definitely start using this um, in different ways instead of just restoring half of my health. Makes consecutive attacks. So I'm going to use this in that fight with that guy, I think. Or you know what? I'm not going to use it as another means to heal. I'm going to do this right here. Significantly negates damage. And then, um... The total half of health. Wait, is that what I did? Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't do that. I did significantly negates damage. It makes consecutive attacks grow stronger. Because uh, this one restores half the total HP. Steadily restores HP for a time. And restores HP when near death. So. This one. And this these two would go together. These two. No. Not that one. This one. And, um, you know what? We are going to do, uh, this one and, um, that one right there significantly negates damage received. So, we'll use that and restore health, because when we go into the boss fight, we're going to want to, uh, pop the mimic, make him out, make him appear and use him. Then we use that physic, mix, mix physic to get our health back perfect all right so I can do it takes 11 root resins and 11 smoldering butterflies and I only have 11 butterflies left screw it I'm gonna make it make four of those whoa Let's just make 10 of these. Holy greases, I need to sell some of those because I i don't really ever use them. I need Aeonian butterflies and I need to go down to the Scarlet Lake for that. Or there's or, uh, Kaelid. But honestly, I'm not sure. Okay, I've got 10 of those. Um, make 10 of these. I need to find uh, Blood Roses. I just don't remember where they are. There was a spot for Blood Roses, I'm trying to think. Was it over here? Yes, it is over here at the Rose Church. So, we'll go here real quick and go to the Rose Church. There's another area that has roses in it. I just don't remember what it is. We're gonna go this way. Yep.
I need to collect some crystal buds. This would be a good area to get them in, I think. Is from what I was saying earlier, because it's something had told me to come here to the Arnia Lake because they grow abundantly here, but I'm not seeing one at all. Oh, hey, it's what's his name? Oh, wait a minute. Is it? Yeah, I thought you died, bro. Be sure to try that finger I gave you. I'm quite certain. Yeah, I thought you died, bro. Okay, there is an enemy in here. He usually pops up out of the blood right here. I remember when I first came through here, I was not prepared for him, and he just ambushed me, and then one of these guys came and attacked me, and everything just went pear-shaped. Okay, that wasn't a whole lot of roses, but did give me a few, like, I think four. Oh, no, there's a couple over here. So about six, but it takes a long time to get back to this spot where I'm on horseback. There's got to be another spot that I have been to. You know what, I'm going to see if the, the tree guardian is there. Because it'll give me more cracked, uh, cracked crystal tears. It's highly dark out here. Oh yeah, also guys, if you pick up items, like, item items like on the ground, items that are, you know, just like crafting materials, you know if you pick up an, ex an excess amount, like stuff that you don't even use. Like, see, I don't even use the raisins to feed Torrent and heal him anymore, really. Like, it takes up space on my items thing, and it's faster just to let him die, and easier to let him die, and then just revive him with one of your heals. I mean, I'm not doing so bad in this game that I need the heal, all my heals. Okay... Where the hell did I just go? Okay, I'm gonna have to go follow this road up and go around. Is that a mausoleum? No. That's one of the towers. Give me some beast bones. Yeehaw. Let's go. Minor earth tree. Well, I guess I did fight this guy. Because he ain't here. And they're usually just right in front. Oh, you know what? I do remember fighting this guy. Go try this herd tree. Just real quick, and then we'll go and uh, prepare to fight that boss. Wait a minute. I hate this area. Those big spirit dudes are around here. These guys are freaking are so annoying with their bows and shit.
Oh, you know what? I remember fighting this guy, too. I do remember fighting this one. Dang, I'm running out of places to... to go. Oh, you know what? There's one I never found over here. And there's a, probably a catacombs right here. Go to the smoldering church real fast. Yeah, I guess we'll just spend a little bit of this. Well, most actually, we'll just do this whole episode as a farming episode. I mean, that just seems logical right now because we only got like 15 minutes left, and honestly, we're just preparing for that boss fight. I may not even keep this video actually. I may just do another one. Okay, it is over here. I may just erase this one and um, just count it as a farming episode, or I could just delete it and not do anything about it. Yes, here we go. Oh shit, bro. Perfect. Okay, yeah, this guy needs fire damage. Putrid Avatar. Enemy Feld. Green Burst Crystal Tear and Flame Shrouding Cracked Tear. Very, very nice. I didn't know that these disappeared on their own once you reached that spot. That's weird. Yep. I knew it. I knew there was one here. What did I say? It wasn't too hard to figure out, but... Now, see how that thing disappeared that was right here? The little statue pointing there? And remember how I found this one and I went way over here? And I thought this was gonna... Because it's pointing directly at it. It literally is pointing, like, right at it. See? This is pointing... Right there. Literally right there. I went straight across. Right from the tip of that fucking... That thing. Bang. That is the one. That has to be. Or there's one back here. Behind Fort Farrath. But... Fuck if I know. I'm gonna actually investigate that. You know what? There was a fort... Um, that had a bunch of roses in it. Was it Fort Farrath? Or was it Fort Hyatt? I think it was Fort Hyatt. But we will double check anyway by going to Fort Faroth. Far. Faroth. Let's see what we got. Okay, this is inside. I, did I even... I did do this place. No, I did do this place. Oh, I hate this place. This was that. Wait a minute. What? The item's over there still? That means I didn't have a saved game.
Heck yeah, bro, get him. We got those freaking ugly ass singing ones in here, I think. Fucking poison me. <laughs> that one stuck on him. Bro. Got you. Come on, Granny. Yeah, boy. Took all those dudes out. Yeah, this I already did this place. I really already did this place. How did I Dude, my mimic better learn how to fucking go up and down things like this, or he may just stay down there and not help me now. But whatever. I'm a lot stronger. There's invisible guys in here. Oh, what? He does appear. Okay. Yeah, there are invisible guys on this uh, this top of the castle. You just gotta walk around and you'll find them. And this area drops down, but not to the weapon or that item that was, like, real close. Bro, you better not fall, Mimic. Yeah, so this was this was going to be the area we go down to and then we go around and uh can't see shit in here. I should just equip this, honestly. It's going to be a big headache. Okay, so that item is over there, so we need to get... Alright, this is gonna be... Whee! Get out of here. Bam. Radigan's sore seal? Looks like an anus. Oh, I forgot what it was. Was it a key? Uh, was it a key? No. Serpents. I'm immune. I'm going to wound that for unintended offspring. Unwanted offspring of a repellent birthing ritual. What does it do, though? What is it for? Okay, it's not in there. Not in stones, not in there. I don't think it was a sorcery. 
Could it have been a shield? It wasn't a seal. No, it wasn't a seal. Not seeing it over here. Not a mask. Definitely wasn't a piece of... Oh, there we go. Greatly raises attributes, but also increases damage taken. That looks like an anus. This legendary talisman is an eye engraved with an Elden rune. How? Said to be the seal of the King Consort Radigan. Greatly raises vigor, endurance, strength, and dexterity, but also increases damage taken by a similar measure. Okay. Solemn duty weighs upon the one be beholden, not unlike a gnawing curse from which there is no deliverance. Okay, I mean, raises my vigor, endurance, strength, and dexterity. But I wonder how much increased damage I'll take. Cause that sounds like a good, a good thing to have. All right, now that we're done here, and we found. Wait a minute. Wait just a second. Where does this statue thing go? Yeah, because this area is not a catacomb. So there's no way I could have identified the catacomb without actually going inside. Or maybe I just was near it, like, I guess. I don't know. Let's, uh, go exploring. See, on the other side of that wall is the Grace. Oh, later, Mimic. Maybe it was Fort Faroth, Faroth, Faroth. Get off. back on touring yeah so there's no thing down here and the other catacomb is just down there at the bottom over over there though but what's weird is why it's telling me there's another one over here which i just i don't know i don't believe that there is another one over here unless it's down there on the other side of like this cliff right here which I don't see and I don't suspect like it has to be like right up here which is weird dude I don't understand why it's doing that because it didn't disappear and I didn't see a statue for this area over here that pointed to that one somebody told me about that one but that statue that was over here did not disappear though When I went into that catacomb that's way down at the bottom.